working on making a bunch of food for the class we have coming up. We just tried out for the first time potatoes in the Instant Pot. Let's see what happened. You ready? You scared? Yeah. They look cooked. A fork. A fork. They're starting to fall apart a little bit. I think well, they're cooked. Sometimes you don't want it too cooked though. I think they're just right. And it said you probably won't have any water to bring out. I don't see any. Perfect. You need to put lots of butter in there. That's crazy. Works slick. Well, five pounds of potatoes wasn't enough. Now we gotta cook some more up in the Instapot. While the potatoes are cooking, I'm gonna do a little mowing.
Head is ready yet? Stop. You may now. It's gonna be hot. Figure out saying, how can I get up there to eat some of that? Oh, it smells so good. It's kind of nice how having people over makes you get all the little things done that you wanted to do that you just keep putting off. This trimming of the tree needed to be done for a while now and I just haven't done it. so you can walk under it without having to worry about getting poked in the eye. The apple wood is an added little bonus. We'll save the apple wood aside for smoking. Pile up all the branches. We have a few apples left over that I bet the pigs are gonna enjoy. Just gotta love the fall weather we've been having lately. It's nice and warm right now. It was chilly this morning, but the sun came out. And it's nice now. building this pasture and we're using our chickens to do it and our Kubota tractor that's our mob stalker right there we don't have buffalo we don't have cattle we don't have goats but we got a Kubota and that can mob stock for us it's true it's mulching it's mulching up the grass and we're leaving it behind this time and that grass is gonna feed all the microorganisms throughout this winter and it's gonna decompose one thing I wanted to point out with all of our clover right here, they've gone to seed and we're mowing all that and that's just gonna put down a lot more clover seed for this coming spring. 
And now we need to get back to mob stocking. Sometimes leaving the grass clippings and the mulched up leaves is a hard decision and a hard thing to do. All that can make great compost for our vegetables or great feed for the chickens and the pigs. But there's another thing you gotta think about. We need to feed our microorganisms in the soil because in return, that's gonna grow more grass, which will grow more animals for us. So you gotta continually mix it up and it's a give and take, give and take relationship. We need to feed our soil and in return, our soil will feed us. So we gotta do a little bit. Yesterday we raked up the grass, gave it to New York City and made some compost out of it. Today, we're gonna leave it in the most depleted areas of the field. These few spots are a lot better than they were two years ago when we bought the property, but they're still the most depleted areas. We'll mow down here after our chickens get harvested. We'll leave that taller grass to run the chicken tractors through. I feel like it's a car wash. Is it a fun car wash? Scaring the cat. He won't do it anymore. He's he back up. Yeah, he knows oh, you're trying to scare him. It. Let's check in on the floor and see all the tongue oil is doing as a sealer. So the girls were cleaning the windows and got some water inside, which is fine. And you can tell the sealer is working because the water's beating up. It's not soaking in. Nice. We have the floor tapered so it goes to this back corner. What a great way to end a good day enjoying a nice pasture raised chicken and some Brussels sprouts. All right. Yeah. Bye. We hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Share it, it really helps the channel grow. And Olivia can finish it tonight, and we'll see you right back here tomorrow at Mom and Acres, a guide, modern home setting, self sufficiency, and freedom. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Who falls tonight?